Look down the list of prominent Americans, from business to entertainment and beyond, you'll find people who overcame the challenge of dyslexia. There's now actually hard evidence showing what can seem like a difficult challenge early on in life can turn out to provide a winning edge later on. Here is our chief medical correspondent, Dr. Nancy Snyderman. Richard Branson of Virgin Group is a man known for his insatiable curiosity and business ingenuity. We simplify everything, and I think because we have that sort of fairly simple, straightforward approach, um, you know, um, the majority of people you know, um, embrace Virgin. Branson attributes his success in small part to his dyslexia, a learning disorder affecting reading and writing comprehension. In some ways, I think, um, you know, my dyslexia has helped, helped us in getting our messages across to people. And it turns out he's not alone. In a new survey out of London, one in three U.S. entrepreneurs identifies himself as dyslexic. If you're dyslexic, you've got your own ways of doing things. You don't like a very structured environment. Famous dyslexics have said they learn to compensate for their learning problems by developing other skills, like oral communication, delegating responsibility, and problem solving. Dyslexics are not dumb. They're not lazy. Um, they have average IQ or even above average IQ, they're regular people, the only problem they have is with reading. Dyslexia can result in confusing words and understanding. This sentence, for example, Anne must drink her milk, was written like this by an eight-year-old dyslexic student. Danny Kessler runs a small business teaching self-defense courses. He says after flailing in school, he was more determined than ever to succeed. They give you an A for memorizing, you know, uh, spelling words and they give you an A for writing an essay, but they don't give you an, an A for being able to show leadership. So many schools have a cookie cutter approach to education, and that can be a hurdle for a dyslexic student who doesn't fit a cookie cutter model. One common theme among creative people with dyslexia is the ability to find those leadership skills within themselves and then run with them. Dr. Nancy Snyderman, NBC News, Atlanta. And that's our broadcast for this Thursday night from New York. Thank you for being with us. I'm Brian Williams. We sure hope to see you right back here tomorrow evening. Good night.